Yes, Mrs. Riley, I do, I do understand. No, look, I will stop in and check in on Scott. I will. Okay, please remember one thing. He's a very strong young man and he's been through a lot already, okay? He'll be fine. Okay, don't worry. Please. Okay, I will. Goodbye. Who's Scotty? No, he's a patient of mine. A former patient of mine. Twelve-year-old boy, he's scared to death. Well, at least his mom is. He's been readmitted to the hospital. He's got a new doctor and he keeps asking for me. Oh, Cliff. His mom wants me to stop in and take a look at him. Well, that's a vote of confidence for you. Yeah, I guess so. Cliff, you're a good doctor. I was. You still are. And a temporary suspension doesn't mean that your talents have just disappeared. Are you going to go see him? Yeah. Look, if I can't be a doctor, at least I can be some kind of support and encouraging him that he's in good hands. Maybe some help. I don't know. That would be a great deal of help. <sighs> Maybe I'll feel like I'm part of the hospital again. Honey, you're working at the lab. That's no, it's not the same thing, Nina. Oh, I thought that's I why you took my hands me. tied in there. I can't even make a suggestion. I think Joe Martin made up this job, so I'd have something to do. Yeah, well, you're the one who said he just wanted to help. Yeah, I know. It just keeps getting harder and harder. I got here just as soon as I could. Why? What's happening? I just learned that the zoning and the planning commission, they met very early this morning, and they approve the variance for that gambling mall. Oh, no. Uh -huh. Well, isn't there something we can do to make them reverse the decision? Not if Chandler's paid them off. And he undoubtedly did. Oh. Yes, but we have to stop him, zoning or no zoning. Well, that's easier said than done, Fabie. There's only one way we can do it, and that's to get that referendum on the ballot. Now, I've got the petitions all ready, and what we have to do is to get absolutely everybody we know out on the streets getting signatures. But Phoebe, 5,000 signatures is an awful lot to gather so quickly. What? Are you going to give up without even trying? Well, I don't know. There's not enough time, dear. Listen, we have a morality on our side. We have to win. to read about my adventures in Tibet. Also, I'd like your reactions. Mike. What's that? Oh, nothing, just some mail. In fact, it's, um, it's the uh, manuscript of Mike Roy's new book. Why did he send it to you? He wants my reactions. I didn't ask him for it. I should hope not. I mean, why should I? I've never had the least interest in Tibet. I won't allow any man, Mike Roy or anyone else, to get too near my wife. Understand? Well, he wouldn't dare. Not after what I told him. <laughs> I wouldn't put anything past him. Mm, darling, if he tries to contact you again, I'll make it very clear I mean what I say.
Hi, Mrs. Wallingford. It's Tad. Oh, yes, Tad. Hi, I'm sorry to disturb you, but I was wondering if I could talk to Hillary. I'm sorry, but uh, I'm afraid you can't. You see, she left word that she'd really rather not speak with you in case you called. Oh, well, Mrs. Wallingford, couldn't you persuade her? I'd uh, rather not uh, interfere, if you don't mind, Tad. I see. Uh, well, um, thank you anyway, Mrs. Wallingford. I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news. No, I understand. Goodbye. Well, what, uh... Hey. You look like you've, uh, lost your best friend. No, it's worse than that. You want to talk about it? Why should I? You and Dad don't seem too impressed with my problem. Now, that's not true, Tad. Really? I thought you'd gotten fed up with the whole situation after uh, the Edna Ferguson deal. Tad, that doesn't mean that I don't care about you and what upsets you. I may be angry, but I still love you. Sure. In fact, if I didn't love you so much, I probably wouldn't be so angry. Honey, it's because I love you that I care what happens to you. Well, if you really want to know, I can't even get to first base with the only girl in town that I care about. Hillary? Who else? What's the problem? The problem is I've tried every way, every way I can possibly conceive of to, impre conceive of to impress her, and she's still completely... Unimpressed, huh? It's driving me up the wall. The first time I, I've ever cared about anybody like this, and, and she won't even come to the phone. Tad, do you think that maybe you've been trying too hard to impress her? Never thought of that. You know, sometimes it can really scare oh, a girl. Genius, that that's it! I'll play the one that's hard to get. That's the answer. Honey, I just, what well, I mean is no, that the I don't girl believe I've said this time. before. It's worked for me plenty of times. When I, I'm unavailable, I, the girl gets interested. I don't think that you quite Mom, understand. Mom, you're beautiful. Don't say another word. Mm, you saved my whole day. Tad, uh, 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 Now then, Langley, dear, I want you to cover the north side. Here you go. Uh, that's from uh, Bellevue on up to the golf course. Palmer, you cover everything around the golf course uh -huh. and as far as, uh, you know, all the estates around Brookfield yeah. Park. When you get through there, drive on over to Crescent and hit every house there. Well, certainly, it's a first for me. Oh, Daisy went off to the serving spoon bright and early. She'll get every customer's signature there. Oh, madness. Yeah. But Brooke's already out on her beat, going door to door downtown. You see, we have to get the most people possible in the show. Please, go. Are you angry with me? Hillary, please, can you just sit down? No, I said I want you to leave. I'm sorry if the kiss upset you. Hillary? Hillary? You haven't heard a word I said. Mrs. Wallingford, I'm sorry. I... Please, would you mind repeating it? Uh, well, Langley and Palmer have already left. Now, here, I want you to cover the south side, dear. Uh, that is from uh, Chester over to Randolph. Here, you can see it right here. It's a square right in there. Then, as soon as you finish there, you come back here. I'll give you a new area and uh, more petitions to sign a whole batch of them. Okay, I should cover that in a couple of hours. Good girl. So watch out, south side, here I come. Uh-huh. Oh, no! Wait! What is it? Well, I can't send you to the south side. I just realized. Why not? Well, because, dear, uh, that's where the Martins live, and you wouldn't want to take the chance of running into Tad Martin, now would you? Girl, of course you wouldn't. So I'll have to give you another area. You can come with me, we'll cover the village, and somebody else can take care of the south side. No, 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 that's, that's quite all right. I am not going to back down on my civic duty because of Tad Martin. <laughs>